Well, the Trudeau government is clearly causing massive problems in the Department of National Defense, and uh, Justin Trudeau's poor judgment has already cost us uh, Mark Norman, and now we have our second uh, position, uh, person in that position. Uh, we still don't know why the government went to such great lengths to hide the details of the scandal, uh, why uh, Trudeau's government fought so hard to keep those documents from being presented in court, uh, and we don't know the details of the settlement for Mark Norman. And clearly there's a massive uh, dropping of the ball here that's, that's thrown the department into major disruption. <laughs> Where there's smoke, there's fire, and when you see this uh, from the very beginning with uh, Trudeau speculating, and, and not just speculating, but announcing that the RCMP would be pressing charges against Mark Norman, the, the, the lengths to which they went to to keep details of the scandal hidden, uh, now this uh, secret uh, settlement deal, which uh, we'd, like to, we'd like the government to waive and to, to answer these questions, to, to waive the non-disclosure, to start actually telling Canadians what was involved in the settlement. And now with this new development, they need to be proactively uh, forthcoming on this. They need to be open and transparent and, and tell people what's going on because from the get-go, uh, this has been a complete disaster. A huge, another example of Justin Trudeau's terrible, terrible judgment. Because everything about the Mark Norman affair has had more than originally uh, comes out. Uh, the, the, the Trudeau Liberals have gone to great lengths to keep these types of details secret and when the truth comes out, we find out that there is a reason for that. Uh, we find out uh, through the court proceedings that the Trudeau government was using code names to avoid access to information requests around the Mark Norman scandal. Uh, these are not the actions of a government that has nothing to hide. Uh, the, the, there's a clear pattern here of trying to keep the truth from coming out uh, and, uh, and this is just a, another example of how Trudeau's handling of this file has caused uh, chaos throughout our, uh, our, our Department of National Defense. This is outrageous. I mean, here we have a senior liberal basically asking the government of China to help the Liberals win the election. Uh, inviting foreign interference in our own election is outrageous and Canadians need to be very, very concerned uh, that this is going on. It's also a very bizarre message. Uh, basically what this uh, senior Liberal is saying is that uh, please help the Liberals win the election so that the Liberals can go back to being easy on the government of China. In other words, you can continue to push Canada around as long as Liberals are in power, but if Conservatives get in power, we're going to we're going to have a government that actually stands up uh, to China. So please don't allow that to happen. That's an outrageous message uh, to begin with. But the fact that it's coming from a high-profile senior liberal, a former liberal cabinet minister, uh, this is very very unsettling. And and I condemn this type of uh, message being sent to the government of China. It undermines Canada's position on the world stage, and it's an outrageous invitation to have a foreign government uh, try to in any way help a political party here in Canada. First of all, we need to hear a clear message from uh, Justin Trudeau that he, uh, d that he denounces this. Uh, I believe the fact that this is continuing going on, that Mr. McCallum continues to make these types of statements, uh, uh, certainly raises questions about whether or not he is uh, delivering messages on behalf of the government in, in an informal way. Is this something that people in the Prime Minister's office knew was going to happen? Uh, are these lines that, uh, are these internal discussions that now Mr. McCallum is making public? What kinds of conversations are going on in the Prime Minister's office about uh, wanting uh, China's help in winning the next election? There are just uh, so many concerning questions that this type of statement makes and the, uh, the lack of reaction on behalf of the Liberal government is, is indication that this is probably something that they've, uh, that they've been contemplating. Well, of course, uh, this is something that uh, the, the, this Liberal government is only now recently proposing. Um, uh, we will always, of course, uh, stand up for the rights of uh, LG, LGBTQ uh, uh, individuals and protect their rights. And, of course, we're opposed to any type of practice that would forcibly attempt to uh, change someone's sexual orientation against their will or uh, things like that. So uh, we'll, we'll wait and see exactly what is being contemplated, but that, uh, that, that would be our position on it. Well, this is just another tax, and uh, again, we see the Liberal government going to great lengths to keep it hidden. Uh, Justin Trudeau, on the even of, of an election, is basically telling Canadians that gas prices will go up thanks to this new tax, but he's not going to tell us by how much until after the election. That's outrageous. The first thing he needs to do is to come clean and say exactly what Canadians can expect to pay in this new tax after the election. Uh, anything less will be uh, a massive, uh, mis uh, will, be, will be misleading Canadians and will be uh, an example of how desperate they are to have the true costs of their policies uh, coming to light.